Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of the Ploxa Games Unity 3D How to Make a Zombie FPS Game series. In this episode, we will create the enemy's health script and start a basic movement system. So let's get right into it. So last episode, we left off with the player health script, and that made this bar pop up, and it changes with the when depending on what the health is. So it'll change the length depending on the current health. So that's all good. Um, let's just quickly open that one up and we'll start off with the enemy health. So first of all we'll just change this to 25 because the, I did notice that the bar is too thick so 25 is about right. And we'll just copy this and we will create a new c -sharp script in the script folder and name that enemy health. And then we'll just open that one up and just select all that and then control V or paste and that should give you exactly the same as what's in the player health but we, what we need to do is change this to enemy health and we will display this about 50 down so 50 pixels down so let's take a look actually no that's not going to work so first of all we, we'll rename this to floor, we'll create a new cube as the enemy, we'll name this enemy oh, whoops. enemy and we'll drag this we'll drag this enemy health script onto that so if we click play it should display two bars and if we change the 50 of that, yep that works Okay, so that's all fine. And what we're gonna want to do is just give this guy a physics rigid body, so then he has gravity. And we'll change this to this one to 1.5, so he's only just touching off, just touching the ground. So he's already on the ground, so he doesn't fall. And so that's our cube for the moment, enemy. So now we're gonna. Uh, now that we've finished the basic health systems, we're going to start the, the enemy movement. So create a new script, call enemy movement, and open that one. Now, first of all, we're going to uh, create some new variables called, um, they're going to be public, and it's going to be integer, and they're going to be rotate, speed, equal to 1, public public integer movement speed equal equal to one just for now um, private transform which will be our transform I will call this my my transform and well it will be the enemy's transform sorry and a public transform and this will be the target or player, whatever you want to call that. So in start, we're going to go um, game object geo equals uh, game object dot find game object with tag, and that'll be player. And so that's going to find the player in the scene. It's going to locate that set it to geo and then in the next line we're going to go target is equal to geo dot transform so that we now have the player health player transform and then for the my transform we're just going to my transform equals transform so it's going to be the transform of whoever's holding is over whoever has this script on it so the enemy that's going to be the enemy's transform so what we're going to do is do create these in separate functions. So we are going to make this just return nothing, so void, and we're going to call it um, rotate. And in here, we're going to change, make it, and it debug the lot dot. Draw line. So we're going to draw a line between the enemy and the player, just for visual purposes at the moment. 
so this one is vector three start so from the enemy so my transform dot position and then it's going to go to the enemy uh, to us so the target dot position and close out one actually we'll do another one and that'll be the color so color dot red for example but any color you want so that's just going to draw a line so let's test that one oh, here we go now definition red color dot red ah red that's right lowercase so that should work yep and then it's not working we should have a red line in the scene so my transform dot position to my target transform dot position um, back to three position yeah that's not right that was right control z control z oh that's right we never call it got the rotate so we're going to call rotate in the update function and it's still not that's why we didn't even put it on I mean, oh my god <sighs> man i'm tired this morning so about that guys yeah yeah there's our red line so it's drawing that that's all working now so now in rotate we want to actually rotate so let's comment in ro rotate enemy and we're going to use a quaternion slurp for the moment so we're going to go my transform dot rotation is equal to because we're going to set our rotation as quaternion quaternion dot slurp and it's a from so my transform dot rotation so we're going to go from the enemy and we're going to change it to a quaternion dot look rotation and inside this is um, my transform no yeah no. it's a target dot position minus my transform I think it's the other way around dot position and then this one is rotation speed rotation speed times by time dot delta sign so that'll sync with time no not far fixed delta time um if this doesn't work then I think it's these two sw swapped so let's try that one This one's right, let's quickly search it up. So, Unity um, scripting and API and search C sharp, search Quaternion. Look rotation. So target position minus transform position. So that's them minus us. So that works. Yep, that should be fine. So if we just bump this up to five, bump this up to five, and we should get a better rotation. But at the moment, yeah, if it's rotating on all axis axes, so if I jump, or if I'm up above them, they're gonna try. Or if I go below them, just watching the scene, uh, uh, yeah, they're trying to rotate towards us still. So we just want to rotate on the Y. Um, so, but we'll fix it up later. That's good for now. 
so now we're rotating towards the enemy we want to move towards the enemy so um, we'll actually rename this and go just a movement move or oh, move towards player and we're going to move and what we're going to do is go in my transform dot position um, plus equals uh, target dot position I think oh no 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 we need a I think it's go forward isn't it something like that um, um, I'll be right back okay guys sorry about that now uh, I just read up on that and it's because we're already rotating towards the player we're on the right course we just need to move so what we're going to do is go plus equal to vector oh sorry my transform dot forward and then we're going to times by time by movement speed times by time dot delta time and that should work and that is working so they're moving towards rotating and moving towards us at the same time but yes we do have some areas where as soon as they get up to the right distance they're gonna keep trying to get exactly on that spot so we're gonna have to create an if some if statements to um, stop them from moving and just start attacking so that's it for this episode at the moment um, next episode we will be fixing this and probably starting attacking the, them at attacking us um, uh, yeah well that, that's what we'll do next episode so thanks for watching um, comment rate subscribe bye